The following product, Sand Grabber, in this presentation is patented in the United States and protected in over 300 foreign countries. Presents to you a beach restoration and protection system. Coastline changes due to natural processes and human intervention represent a major concern of coastal planners the world over, and indeed of ordinary citizens who have real or potential interest in beaches and seaside property. While beaches may be the substance of vacation dreams for some, their disappearances through erosion can lead to nightmares for those who live, work, relax, and build close to the shore. Shorelines are areas of continuous change where the natural forces of wind and water interact with the land. Though the shifts between water and land have taken place for centuries and are the result of both natural forces and human activities, such as sand mining and beach construction, these changes have taken on paramount importance with a considerable rise in tourism. Structures built parallel to the shore, such as seawalls, bulkheads, and revetments, are generally made of steel, concrete, rock, or wood. These are designed to protect land and buildings from erosion by the sea. They do not promote beach accretion. In this sense, they can only be regarded as a means of buying time, since the erosion will continue in front of the seawall, and the beach will continue to narrow or eventually disappear. Structures are built parallel to the shore such as groins and jetties. Groins are built at right angles to the shore and are designed to trap moving sand transported in long shore currents which move parallel to the shore. Their main function is to promote beach buildup by trapping sand or slowing down its movement along the beach. They are usually constructed of rock or concrete and usually result in sand accretion on one side and beach erosion on the other. Beach nourishment consists of adding large volumes of sand to the beach. The sand may be obtained from an inland or offshore zone. Using offshore sand, the sand and water mixture is pumped via a floating pipeline into the shore and then moved into place. This method is very expensive and serves only as a band-aid. Beach erosion will continue. National Park, Lake Erie, Michigan, Day 1. Wheatley National Park, Lake Erie, Michigan, Day 2. Notice the beach side on the far end. The first block is almost covered. Also on Day 2, note the wave action. The bottom course is in at least six inches of water. The waves carry the sand through the cores of the sand grabber. The back flow is restricted. The sand settles front and rear. Beach accretion has started. Day 8. Now nearing the end of construction, Behind the sand grabber, 36 inches of sand has accumulated in a short span of one week. Over 18 inches has accumulated out in front. Day 20. 
This picture, taken from the top of the bluff, offers proof of accretion that has taken place. Wind-driven waves have caused this accumulation. Day 50 Notice the enormous amount of beach accretion that has occurred in only seven weeks. Beach erosion has stopped and the sand has almost completely covered the sand grabber. Day 75 The last picture in this series, taken from atop the bluff, shows the sand grabber completely engulfed in sand. 20 feet had to be swept free to make the structure visible. Notice how the water line has moved out and away from the shoreline. No question, sand grabber builds beach. The following blueprints and illustrations show you how the sand grabber works. Tough construction made of recycled plastic with a poured concrete inner. Tapered slots allow waves to break and travel through the sand grabber while retaining sand as the wave retreats. Interlocking sides allow for easy installation while ensuring that the sand grabber is not breached. Environmentally friendly, unlike the original sand grabber system, the new sand grabber will not deteriorate and break up over time. Totally modular construction allows for easy removal of the system and placement in a new area. Using our system, more beach accretion can take place in less time and the sand grabber never becomes a permanent structure. Beach accretion is guaranteed. Because the sand grabber system is modular, the same units can be reused by moving them further down the beach. This allows for more linear feet of beach accretion at less cost than other systems. In fact, after the initial installation is complete, the cost per linear foot is greatly reduced as the sand grabber units are reused. In contrast, other systems are permanent, cost more per linear foot, and accrete only a finite amount of beach. We are dedicated and are actively involved in the restoration of the world's beaches. We are pioneers in our methods of beach accretion. Environmental Beach Solutions offers a city, town, resort, or individual the ability to budget for its beaches with Total Beach Solutions. Total Beach Solutions Defined, Turnkey Operation. Environmental Beach Solutions will install, remove, and relocate the sand grabber system according to an agreed upon schedule with the customer. We will take total responsibility to ensure that the system functions as promised and with minimal impact on beach related activities.